In this lesson we're going to look at subtracting whole numbers. Now the way we're going to do this is we are going to stack the numbers vertically just like we did with addition and we will also take care to make sure that place values line up just like with addition. And So really this is the exact same setup as if it was an addition problem except for of course our symbol here has changed. And just like with addition, we would pay attention to one place column at a time. We're going to do the same thing here with subtraction. So I'm going to look at the ones here and just simply say that 7 minus 5 is going to give me 2. And the way we can kind of think of this process is suppose I have $57. I have 5 tens and 7 ones and I want to purchase an item that is $25. Well, the easiest way to make that happen is to hand the cashier five of my $1 bills. And so I had seven, and I'm taking away five, and so I'm left with two $1 bills. And then I do the same thing with my tens. Okay, I had five $10 bills. I'm going to take away two of them and give them to the cashier. So what do I have left? I have three of those ten dollar bills left. So 57 minus 25 gives me 32. Now let's take a look at this example. We have 73 minus 49. So we'll set this up just like we did the previous problem. But when we go to the ones column we encounter an issue that we didn't have in the last example. Here, when we try to subtract the top, uh, the, the top one's place minus the bottom one's place, we notice that the first one here is smaller than the second. Right? We know that we can't take 9 away from 3. So that's kind of a problem. But our solution to that is to kind of again go back to our money example. So if you had a wallet full of tens and one dollar bills and you needed more ones what could you do? Well you could take one of your tens out of your wallet so now I only have six ten dollar bills left in my wallet and you could ask a cashier to exchange your ten dollar bill for ten ones and that's exactly what we're going to do so I took one ten dollar bill away and now I'm going to add 10 more ones. Well, if I had three before, and now I have 10 more, that gives me a total of 13 ones. So this process is called borrowing, because I'm, um, I'm borrowing one from the next column so that I can make the number in this column larger so that I'm actually able to subtract. So now that I've done that, I can take 13 minus 9, that gives me 4, then 6 minus 4 gives me 2. So I have a difference of 24.